He's Barn. That's Robin. We're both woodworkers. <laughs> I don't look like one today. This is my London alter ego, but I am a craftsperson, honestly. I'm a, I'm a proper woodworker. <laughs> so, yeah. um, Hi. are you going to show us what's in your bag? Yeah, why not? Do first. I've always wondered what, what a tramp carries in his bag. <laughs> Can I say, I first got into having a bag uh, when I met a bag lady in Oxford, right. and she was lovely, and I tried huh? to stop myself from talking to her, but I couldn't help but go up to her and say, oh, you love bags. <laughs> she said that she was into recycling. But what was in a bag? Just more bags. <laughs> she had hundreds. Really? Yeah. A bag inside, a bag inside, a bag. Yeah. So um, I've got a spoon. Right, nice. Half-made spoon. Good spoon. Used spoon, prettier when they're used. Yeah. Do you really want to see everything in my bag? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> No, it's great. Just go slowly. What is that? What? <laughs> oh, I know what it is. I know what it is. But not, not many people would know what that is, but I know what that is. So we got it? the thing it's that goes with it. It's an old tennis ball, isn't it? It is. But it's a, it's a tool sheath for a ticker cam. Yeah. Have you got the tool in there? No. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. No. Um, I've got my diary because we do live in a city and have to. Right. Work. Gosh. Didn't know how interesting this can be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Busy man. Know. It's not very busy, is it? <laughs> um, Did you make the sheath? Yeah, that's lime bast. Lime bast. Boom, let's split some lime let's bast. Let's talk about lime bast. Yeah, why not? What is lime bast, Robin? Lime bast is the inner bark of the lime tree. Oh. Did you know that yeah. the Vikings used to make all their rope from lime basts? I did. So if it wasn't for lime bast, then uh, there'd be no blonde people in Britain. Wow. Is that true? Yeah, that's entirely <laughs> true. Well, it's based on fact. <laughs> and, and actually, one, if you um, rot the bark down, then you can get a super, super fine lamelli. Mmm, what sort of those? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a very thin layer. Right. Um, and uh, those are what you would actually uh, spin into bits of string. So uh, that just strips down into thin strips and then you can weave it into knife sheaths or anything else. What, do you, what else do you do with it? Uh, uh, use them as little bindings. On right. My, on my, yeah, do like a constrictor knot. An altered clove hitch. Do you know the constrictor knot? No, I don't know. Do you not know the constrictor knot? No. Put your finger in there. You were a boy scout, <laughs> weren't you? Were you a boy no, scout? I wasn't. Were you not? <laughs> No. You're into all that bushcraft stuff, though, wouldn't you? I bet you learnt lots of knots then. I don't know anything about bushcraft. I was when, actually, I worked in a call centre and learned some knots whilst I was meant to be answering phone calls. <laughs> I love it. Look how many keys I've got. Gosh, you must be really important. Um, Why have you got so many keys? Uh, I've got a unicorn on my house key. Right. Because um, uh, my yeah. housemate is obsessed with unicorns, but yep. we don't talk about it. The kind of Freudian implications of that. <laughs> I don't think I've got anything else interesting in here. Oh, I've got my, I've got a, a prototype pair of wooden pliers. They are amazing. Video that went um, viral online. Uh, it took about two hours to figure out how to make, and people love pliers, but uh, it's taken me eight years to figure out how to carve spoons properly, and, and people think that it's unskilled. Yeah. Oh, well, don't get me started. These things are amazing. I, I saw, I haven't made these yet, but they're carved out of one piece of wood. One of the good things about this bag, if you shake it like that, then you get the coins. Mm -hmm. So when you need to buy a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> when you need to buy a coffee, then you can tip the out are. all the wood shavings and the coins. Nice. I don't think there's anything else you want to see from Yeah, me. we want to see everything. Really? <laughs> <laughs> what else have we got in there? Oh, nice so hat. Being a two hat man is a beautiful thing. Right. So, uh, is that the winter hat? When you're feeling, because a lot of people think you have to have a coat, yeah. which is rubbish. Right. When you're cold, you take off that hat and put on the, the fur hat. Right. I got this from an army surplus store in, um, in Bristol about 10 years ago when I was working in a call centre, which was the last proper job I had. Right. Uh, got an inner tube. Ceramics event I went to and bought a very nice mug. Ah. And a £250 teapot. Ah, from Sven. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Are you happy with it? Oh, we've seen it. It's beautiful, but it dribbles a little bit. It is a beautiful teapot. I'd forgive it. He's one of the nicest people I've ever met. 
I bought a 120 quid coffee uh, stovetop coffee thing from Alessi and it doesn't work. Really? What are you going to do with it? Just not use it. Um, have we got everything out of the bag? No. <laughs> Two hats. Yeah. If you're bald, you've got to wear a baseball cap in the summer, otherwise right. you get sunburnt. Notes. Notes. What do you make notes about? Everything. Most of it's poetry. <laughs> I don't think you really want everything. Right. Yeah. Electrical things. Right, nice. More <laughs> headphones. You can never have too many of those headphones because the, the first one you pull out never works. Variety of voice cards, just right. in case. Very good. Um, but what's very handy is that it's completely flat packable. Yep. And also, it's entirely waterproof, and it straps on the back of my bike with some inner tubes. Brilliant. I nice. don't normally get all the stuff out of my bag for people. <laughs> Only for special people. Yeah. <laughs> like hole and corner. <laughs>